it's really helpful to keep 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 bringing things back to fundamentals or or foundations. Um, that that sabha papa sarkarlan kusala supa sampada sajita pariyota padang etang buddha sasanang. So that that sense of yeah, that re refraining from all evil, the the doing of that which is good, purification of the heart. This is teaching of all the Buddhas. Um, the and that is that needs to be done like holistically uh, and and on a certain level, there is no end to uprooting the the unwholesome in the sense of if that's one's focus, then that uh, on a certain level, there will be no end to it. Um, because one needs to be giving attention to the wholesome. One needs to be giving attention to the say a purification and 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 the and and the purification uh, on uh, especially when we we think because we do tend to think of things in terms of doing and uh, uh, so and and as we practice we get you know we get engaged in in the doing and and the the refraining from evil the cultivation of the good those are skillful doing but i think purification is 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 really about Trusting in uh, in in awareness, trusting in in the, the fundamental quality of knowing, and releasing, releasing, relinquishing, a letting go into the knowing, not a letting go of of uh, say into. Uh, uh, I was reminded of uh, something I, I used to say in terms of of. In, the the uh, so like choiceless awareness, you know, so like, which t to me means nothing, um, but that sense of uh, kind of okay, trying to be in with the knowing and then ending up in some kind of nebulous nothingness, which is really not what what the point of it is. So that but that that trusting in the knowing, trusting in awareness. And releasing, relinquishing, giving up to surrendering to within that that knowing, um, but that doesn't preclude the effort that we make to refrain from the unskillful, to 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 cultivate the good, because we really do need to, because <clears throat> like. If you look at the unwholesome roots and you look at the, uh, say, the hindrances, uh, uh, then it just, it goes on and on. There's no, there seems to be no end to them. Uh, so it really does need uh, a directing of attention to to the skillful, to the whole cultivation of barmies, cultivation of 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 a uh, these bright states of mind of of the the Brahma Viharas. Um, but then also within that, there needs to be that releasing into awareness and, and then the quality of knowing so that we're able to set aside the doing or the agenda. And, and that brings us back to that kind of fund. We need to bring it back to roots. Where, what are the roots of our our clarity. What are the roots of our, our, uh, our uh, uh, contentment? And being content within this human condition, and <clears throat> so that that we need to keep returning to where 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 do things begin? And that's where where. Uh, um, say in the Thai forest tradition, uh, so many of the the teachers uh, sort of they keep saying, you know, 
it's all here. It's all here, just pointing back to the heart. Um, uh, and because uh, we tend to to overthink things or overanalyze things and, and, and think it's actual discrete bits of knowledge that we should have. But it's, it's, it's like, oh, Raja has a janchasa. It's really, this is, Dhamma is a language of feeling. And so it's a heart, it's a heart feeling. 